So we are talking about the alligator B-movie Fresh Water, also known as Lake Death. A 2016 uh, movie directed by uh, Brandies Berry, who also wrote this, and I believe this is their uh, first feature debut here as a director. Now, the story here basically focuses on a small American town, basically, as it's plagued by a mysterious presence, that of a giant alligator, which is also uh, an albino alligator, which is very rare. Add to that, you've got a potential other type of menace, maybe a human menace as well. And it's up to kind of uh, alligator expert Zoe Bell, along with uh, maybe a couple of the uh, kind of local uh, sheriffs, to kind of find out what's going on. And then there's kind of separate beeline as well. We've got this group of kind of young people who are kind of trapped in this kind of like lake house as the uh, as they kind of their numbers dwindle through various means. So that's pretty much the plot here. Fairly generic stuff, so let's talk about the positives and negatives of fresh water. So I have to say the um, we'll start with the positives first, and the positives for me are I think Zoe Bell is quite good here. Zoe Bell, most notably known for her stunt work, uh, but she was kind of had, had a kind of acting sort of star turn in uh, Tarantino's Death Proof, and I also have to say. Alison Hayslip here, who plays one of the kind of the uh, the young kids trapped on the island, also not too bad. Other than that, I'd say other, other couple of things that I kind of liked were there were a couple of kind of plot developments here that I thought were um, kind of a somewhat unique, maybe not unique, but they were maybe a little bit surprising and get, went in a direction that I didn't necessarily see it go, which I thought was quite good. But onto the negatives. I'm sorry to say that this was a, a bit of a struggle to sit through. So let's, I'm not quite sure how the, how the budget was of this film, but uh, one and a half million apparently in dollars. And I've seen uh, better films for less money. Oh my God, where to start? So the the acting here, apart from the two cast members that I've mentioned, this one has got Joe Lando in it as well, who is, you know, you know a reasonably uh, 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 well-known actor. Terrible, terrible, terrible acting uh, from the majority of the cast here. Uh, the editing is awful, awful editing. The music is is just like they use the same kind of musical beat throughout the whole film, um, and it's just it's just terrible. Getting back to the editing for, just for a second. So what will happen is you'll have like a scene that will play out, uh, and then you'll flip to another scene, and then you'll, they'll cut back to the original scene, but it will be like no time has passed, things like that, and it's just very, very crap editing. It'll go from night to day and stuff like that. It's just really bad. Um, very, very poorly put together film, I, I have to say. The special effects here are... Um, well, they're obviously on the cheaper side. There are a couple of times where I thought some of the effects looked okay. I'll give it that. It uses the the alligator itself is a CGI creation, and for the most part, it's pretty poor looking. There are a couple of shots where I thought it looked okay, and there are some uh, reasonable prosthetics in kind of that severed limbs and stuff like that. But for the most part, the actual alligator itself is—I got to be honest with you—is barely in it. Um, but it's so, and again, we'll go back to the editing. The, the, some of these these attacks, they're so poorly put together. The first time you'll see. The actual alligator on screen attacking someone is just kind of this fisherman and it's just so poorly edited it looks terrible but the the real thing for me here even there are and i've said this as a, as a positive there are a couple of elements about the plot that i kind of liked overall the plot is ridiculous i mean there's something that happens that just comes out of nowhere and um it, it just it doesn't make sense um, we, we kind of learn about a secondary threat without kind of giving away spoilers but it just, there's just no evidence of it beforehand and it just kind of, sort of comes out of nowhere and the explanation of it is just so stupid oh god <laughs> you know I have to say you know I watch big movies and some of them are kind of on the kind of the crappy side but and I wanted to like this one because I've been aware of this film for a little while here and I quite like kind of marine horror films but this one was um Sad to say, uh, a real kind of like low run on the ladder, shall we say. 
couple of things I kind of quite liked. Like I said, a couple of the performances were okay. Um, and there were a couple of small plot elements that were I thought were you know somewhat clever. It actually re- references Scream, but before it did that, I have to say, I was thinking, man, this is kind of almost a Scream ripoff. And then they actually referenced it, which I thought was quite amusing. But overall, this this film was pretty poor. Uh, if you are a creature feature fan, I think you'll be disappointed. It's very reminiscent of a kind of a sci-fi film, but it makes less sense. At least sci-fi films uh, stick to a very kind of um, generic sort of formula whilst this one you know i appreciate it maybe it's trying to kind of subvert your expectations but some of the decisions here just just don't make sense and come out of nowhere um so i have to say it's pretty pretty a pretty poor movie i i i am sad to report here so i will give this movie a two out of ten have you seen it what did you think of it leave a comment and i'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now